Hi, my name is Megan and I'm a biologist. I spent over two years studying the endangered spotted turtle. Uh, I went to school both at the University of Guelph, I did biological sciences there, uh, and I went to Laurentian University where I studied the spotted turtle. Um, I always liked animals as a kid. Uh, my parents were very outdoorsy, so I always kind of knew that I would go get into something with animals. And so in high school, I was good in a lot of subjects, but I really loved science. I had a really great biology teacher, and she made me really enthusiastic, so much that I even took an extra course in biology. Spotted turtles are interesting for a couple of reasons, and the funny thing is, is that I wasn't actually a spotted turtle person, but when I was given the opportunity to go out and study spotted turtles for my research, I started to learn a lot more about them, and I started to find out these things that kind of gave them a little bit of spunk. They were they're really cool little turtles, and one of the reasons is that they're really different from a lot of other turtles. Many turtles you'll see out in the summer basking on a log, soaking up all that sun. You can see them really well, and everyone kind of gets to see them on it like every day. But spotted turtles like cold water, and so when they're when it's hot in the summer, they're actually hiding, and so not as many people get to see them. They're a gorgeous turtle with these bright yellow spots that it just seems like they won't be camouflaged at all, and yet. They're in a wetland and those spots look exactly like the little spots that the sun makes when it shines through the water. Spotted turtle is a really small turtle. It's, uh, they're measured by the length of their shell, so they're carapace-like. That's their top shell. Uh, and for a spotted turtle, they only get to be 12 centimeters. So that's it. This is an adult spotted turtle. So some of the things that are changing the habitats that spotted turtles live in are these invasive reeds. They're really big, they're really aggressive, and they can take over wetlands and change the way that wetlands work. And if it's taking over areas that spotted turtles are in, it might actually push them out of those areas um, and make it so that they can't live in that wetland anymore. Another thing that spotted turtles are kind of at risk from is not just people taking them home as pets, but actually people going and collecting a whole bunch of them at once and taking them out of the wetland. And so that's why it's important if you know where spotted turtles live, that you report them to the right people, the MNR, Nature Conservancy, and, uh, but not to tell everyone you know about that spot. Because you never know who you're going to be telling and you don't want someone to come in and take all of the turtles out of that wetland land. So it's kind of like a secret. Um, one of the most amazing things for me for doing this research is the fact that I get to help an endangered species by figuring out where they're living and what we can do to protect them. I got to save a, a population of spotted turtles or at least help save it and to me that's really important. But you don't necessarily have to be already doing the research. I mean, it's a great way to get involved and I, and I really enjoy it. I love learning new things and answering those questions that can help protect the wild animals. But you can have an influence right now. You can take action right now.